they asked me to share with you why Looker. Why did I decide to, uh, to come here? And for me, uh, data has been a lifelong passion. I mean, as far back as college, uh, 1999, I was studying machine learning. And if you guys can remember that far back, machine learning in 1999 was not the business. Right now, it's hot. Everyone wants to do machine learning. In 1999, my college thesis advisor told me, machine learning, no future at all. Go and study bioinformatics. Not a good choice. I'm glad I didn't listen to him. I eventually joined uh, Microsoft, and I had the very, very uh, fortunate opportunity to be on the founding uh, team of the uh, founding member of the Power BI team. And Power BI went on to be uh, one of Microsoft's fastest growing uh, cloud services. So I thought to myself, hey, I got to do something new. Like, BI is solved. Analytics for everyone. Democratize data, we're done, right? And I decided after a 13-year career at Microsoft that I really wanted to try something genuinely different. So uh, what did I do? Well, I decided to go work uh, at Reddit, <laughs> as far away from BI as I could possibly get. Anyone here use Reddit? Oh, wow, OK, that's surprising. All right, great. I, I usually have to explain it uh, to enterprise audience. So for those of you who don't know what Reddit is, Reddit is essentially a, uh, a site where people post pictures of cats and you can vote on your favorite ones. <laughs> and it turns out that this is actually an extremely popular activity. So Reddit has 350 million monthly active users, uh, and I think it's the fourth most popular website in the United States. Now, the other reason uh, I was really excited about that job, Reddit at that time had no data engineering team, right? No data scientists, no one doing machine learning. And Reddit, with 350 million monthly active users, generates huge amounts of data. We're talking about petabytes of data sitting unused, unlocked, untapped in an Amazon S3 bucket. So one of my very, very first goals when I joined Reddit was to try and unlock that data. So what did I do? Of course, I pushed it all into a, a modern data store, pushed it all into BigQuery, and then I hooked up Power BI to it. And of course, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> because much to my embarrassment, Power BI was not designed with modern data stores in mind. Now, that may sound bad, but things got a little bit worse after that because one of our very enterprising uh, PMs decided that he uh, was going to bring a SQL runner to Reddit. And I will say within three months of the introduction of that SQL runner, we were experiencing total data chaos. And I'll give you a quick uh, example of that. I remember one particular product meeting. Uh, it was me, the, uh, all of the VPs, the CEO. We do regular product meetings. We're talking about week one retention. So uh, whenever we get a new cohort of users, how many of them stay on the site? And we had a PM come in and say, look, this new feature that we just launched increases our week one retention by 35%. Now, if, if you guys are aware of that particular stat, that is a phenomenal result. That team, we high-fived them, we bought them some champagne, we took them to a steakhouse that very same day because that was a phenomenal result, 35%. Now, you can probably predict what's about to happen. Two weeks go by, and we have a different team come into the organization, and they're presenting their view of week one retention, and it's not as rosy, not nearly as rosy. In fact, rather than a 35% increase, we're talking about a 2% decrease. And you all know exactly why this has happened. You've got two different parts of the organization with two different SQL queries resulting in two different views of the health of the business, which meant that I now had to walk back our rosy 35% improvement, I had to walk that back, go to the CEO, say, I'm sorry. Now, the really terrible thing about this is the team that correctly calculated the result didn't get to go to a steakhouse. They had to stay late and fix all the SQL queries. Now, much later, I, uh, I bumped into a CTO uh, at uh, a different company, and uh, I described that problem to him, and he said, have you heard of Looker? Because it would have solved that problem for you. So, that is kind of how I got introduced to the product, but it's not why I joined Looker, so I want to quickly say you know, three things about that. First, I think that you know, I, I talked about my lifelong passion for data, and everyone at Looker shares that view, the idea that data has to be converted to insights 
and those insights have to be converted into actions, and those actions make people's lives and businesses function more smoothly. That is core to the mission of Looker. The second thing is, I really fundamentally believe that Looker has a different approach. It works well on modern data sources. We focus on governance. These are the things that let you and your organization get control of the ever-increasing chaos that is being introduced by SaaS apps, new data sources, et cetera, et cetera. And Looker starts from that viewpoint. And I believe that the momentum we're seeing at Looker means that we're on to something uh, big. Now, the final thing uh, I will say, how many of you have used the Department of Customer Love? How, how y'all feel about that? Pretty good organization, right? Yeah. <laughs> So the final thing, and I want to say maybe it's even the most important, is the people. If you have met folks in the Department of Customer Love, that culture, that kindness, that passion to help you succeed, that permeates our culture. And I do think, and I do believe very strongly, that it may be an even stronger differentiator than our core technology. So those are the three reasons I came to Looker.